Have you ever had a situation where you've delivered a presentation and you want real time feedback as to how that presentation's gone through a survey or an evaluation, or you wanted to ask some questions um, through a quiz and get real time feedback on the answers you're getting? This works regardless of whether you're delivering that presentation online or whether you're delivering your presentation in person. Um, but before I do continue, please like, subscribe, and share. So I've got a PowerPoint presentation opened up here, four slides, four slides. And my aim is to deliver this to my colleagues. But at the end of the presentation, I want some or to gauge some feedback from my colleagues as to how that they found that presentation and give a rating, give us give it stars out of five. That's what I want to boost my ego. So the first thing I need to do is create a new slide, which is going to be which is where the, the, the form or the question is going to go. Now you highlight that and you need to ensure that you've got access or you're using Microsoft 365 for this to work. And we're going to use something which is a part of 365 called Microsoft Forms. So you don't have to use the likes of Slido, you don't have to use um, SurveyMonkey to be able to do this. You can just utilize Microsoft Forms. At the top in the ribbon, go to Insert and to access Forms from Insert, you scroll across to Forms. You can see it forms a green icon here. If you hover over it, it will say Find and Insert Forms and Quizzes from Microsoft Forms. Brilliant. That's exactly what we need. You click on forms and once you click on forms on the right side it will open up open up a pane uh, with two options one option is to create a new form where you can ask questions or you can create a quiz um, i'm going to create a form for this example but you can also see all the forms previously i've created but i'm going to create a new form in this in this instant create a new form click on new form and it will open up Microsoft forms in the browser where you can edit or create the new form so I'm gonna create a new form um, call it survey from following presentation so the, the question is it's, it's going to be a rating I want them to give me a rating out of five um, based on the, the delivery and the quality of my presentation so I want it to be a rating and the question I'm going to ask is how many stars would you give my oh, give my presentation? Brilliant. So five is high, one is low. Brilliant. That's all I'm going to ask. So you don't need to do anything. Actually, I'm going to click on that. So it's a required piece of information. I'm not going to ask any other questions other than that, which is exactly what I need. Then go back in PowerPoint. Now here, I want it. I want to select the top option because I want it to be displayed within the meeting because I want this to be an interactive meeting as opposed to some something where I collect responses offline. So I want it to be an interactive meeting there. So I want it to want to select the top option basically. And when I select the top option, this is what it's going to display. It's going to on the left side it's going to display a QR code. So they will have the phones nine times out of 10 at work. You can get them to use the phone to scan that QR code. Uh, when they scan that QR code, it will show them this question and then they give you a rating out of five. That's one option. The second thing is getting them to join this link. Copy this link, put this in the browser, depending on whether they're online or not. Um, so it's harder for them if the, if they are in person to 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 copy this link or write this link in their web browser. It's just easier to do the QR code. I would feel on their phones. So let me display this PowerPoint presentation to see how that last slide in particular would look. So because I've got dual screen, it will show this screen. So I'm going to swap it to show the actual slide. Let me just remove the subtitles for this video. So that will be the first slide, the title. And obviously I will just um, go through explaining what my PowerPoint presentation is about. Go through the second slide, third slide, fourth slide. When I come to the fifth, fifth slide, it will show that question there. So how many stars would you give my presentation? So I'm going to get my phone out now um, and I'm going to scan that QR code to show you in real time this working. So I'm going to open the link on my phone and the questions come up. So how many stars would you give my presentation? I will give it five and submit. 
and hopefully you should see that update there you go in Microsoft PowerPoint through Microsoft Forms brilliant so you can do this collect all the feedback you know get your audience to scan that QR code using their mobile devices or even their laptops even if they've got camera on it brilliant done or tablets I should say once you've collected all the feedback that you need you click um, escape and then what it will do um, you can actually do this is go into your web browser and then that form you created early you can see on the top left hand corner you can see all the responses at the moment there's only one one response to the question I posed which is my response so you can go into that response area and you can analyze all the responses or even you can view the results individually or you can open those results in Microsoft Excel so that's just a very quick and easy video because Microsoft, if you've got 365, Microsoft 365, Microsoft Forms is a part of 365. So it's actually free for you to use, um, especially if you're working with PowerPoint 365 as part of your work. So you don't have to invest in the likes of Slido. You don't have to invest in the likes of SurveyMonkey. You can use everything within Microsoft Forms. So that was just a quick and easy video showing you how to make your PowerPoint presentation presentations interactive with the use of Microsoft Forms. I hope this video has helped you. Please like, subscribe and share.